Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today, I'm gonna do our daily technical analysis update of oil and natural gas. Uh, again, these are some of my favorite sectors. Uh, energy in general is my favorite sectors at the moment. Uh, that includes uranium, natural gas, oil, uh, and even coal. So looking at this, we'll dive in here. Uh, I'll give you my opinion. It is just my financial opinion. Please do your own due diligence. Make sure everything's right for you if you decide to enter any of these. And again, it's just my opinion. I am holding these long term. I'm not trading it out just to give you an FYI. So looking at light crude oil futures, we've got this big wick at the top. You know, we broke $100 and we came back down to 93. Massive volatility. Uh, what this is signaling to me is that it wants the market wants to go lower, even though they they bought this up pre-market and pushed it higher. Um, I do think we may have a little bit of a pullback, but it's dangerous because you've got all this news, all this volatility, all these things going on. And whenever that kicks up like that, you know what I do? I don't do anything. I don't do anything. I just sit on my hands and I buy what's undervalued. And at the time right now, I'm buying uranium um, because it's undervalued and it looks really good. The oil companies and natural gas companies, they've been on a tear. So it doesn't mean I want to sell them, but this doesn't look good for a, a move when you have war and it can't even break out of this pattern. So uh, I would be I would be holding on to my shares, but I probably wouldn't be buying at this moment in some of these companies. Uh, natural gas, a little bit down today, down uh, basically a flat day. Um, just a flat day with the wick at the top. It looks like it's getting a little toppy, like we want to pull back a little bit. Um, and again, guys, I, the short term is the hardest ones to read. We've got lots of volatility. Lots of people are scared. I, I, and I don't do anything. I, I, just, I just hold on. The, the structural underlying pinnings of, of the oil market is absolutely fantastic. We're running out of inventory. Everything looks bullish. There's no way I would be a seller here. Um, but on some of these, I don't know if I'd be a buyer either. So it's... <laughs> You know, we've had a we've had a good run. We're right at support, or I mean resistance. This white line's resistance here. We're trying to break out of it. Um, that's what this top is here. We got a top there, a hit here, a hit here. We're playing around with it. Will this pull back or will we go up? We do have a bearish engulfing right here on decent volume. Uh, usually that means that we want to get we want to head lower. Uh, we've got all this news, we've got the, the war thing going on. Um Lots of lots of stuff. I think we will head lower before we go higher. That's my kind of inclination on what I'm seeing here with this big uh, bullish engulfing pattern right there. Uh, so I, I I am looking at that, but you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if we go higher. So it's whenever whenever we get kind of mixed readings. We I mean we've got bullishness all through this section here. We've got one bearish engulfing pattern. Um, difficult read. I I don't. I, that's why I'm not going to sell anything. SM Energy, uh, it's coming to the tip of this pattern. If they release earnings, you're probably going to see a big move to the upside if they if they do well. I think they're releasing today. Every time I look to see when they're releasing, uh, it's almost like the the company changes. It's like the 23rd, the 24th, or the 25th. Uh, I, so I I don't know. Oh, it looks like they released. Uh, oh. Ooh. Whoa. They blew out the surprise. Uh, actual is 1.14 on an estimate of 0.77. Um, this thing is probably going to launch. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, it's down at, uh, post-market, down 3.36. We'll see. But it looks like they beat earnings. I don't know what they said in it, uh, but looks like they did release some earnings. Uh, CDEV moving on up. Uh, I think we're going to move on up with CDEV. Nice, good volume today. They did have an earnings release. Uh, so that one's looking good. Crew Energy, it's right at support. Again, guys, I, I like Crew Energy. If if there was one I was going to buy, I would probably buy Crew Energy in this 250-ish mark, right where we're at in the support. Uh, that's kind of the one I would buy if I if I had to buy one. Uh, Callum Petroleum looks like it released earnings uh, yesterday or something like that, but it's right at support, looking okay. Uh, Athabasca Oil, this is one that I said could potentially get to about a buck. Uh, was that a buck 68, buck 65? Looks like we put a little wick at the top. We'll see if we come back down or if we continue higher. Looks like they released earnings here uh, in uh, March uh, 2nd is when they release earnings. Recaf, uh, getting a little bit of an update. Hopefully we can get some momentum to the upside that this is a bullish piercing uh, reversal pattern to move on up. Let's hope, hope that. 
Uh, CPG right at the tip here. Uh, we'll see which way it goes. This is a hammer pattern. It opened up lower and momentum's coming back up. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens there. Uh, Nog, no, another bullish hammer pattern uh, to potentially move on up. It is a slight up day today. GTE uh, continues to move higher. Nice good move in GTE, Grand Tier Energy. Uh, it's broken this pattern, guys. What I do is I do nothing. Again, the way you make money is you take positions when things are down and you just hold on. You don't sell it. You don't You don't even think about it. Just let it go. And GTE is one that I let go. And a lot of people, well, you know, we had to live through this pullback. That is the nature. When you buy down here and it's cheap, when you buy a bottom, when you buy at 20 cents or 30 cents and all in here, you buy it, you hold on and you let it cycle, cycle through. It's going to cycle up and down in an uptrend fashion so long that the thesis is correct. And this is a big, big move higher. <clears throat> if I were to put a fib, a fib extension line on it, so you guys can kind of figure out where this could potentially go. Uh, and usually what I use is the point, the 1.618, this could go to $2. Uh, so there's, there's room left to run in this. Uh, if you're a short-term trader, I mean, maybe $2 would be a spot to look at if it gets stuck there. Uh, Tellurian's another one that I really liked uh, and still like. And what I would do here is, again, I bought down at 90 cents. I bought at 90 cents. I bought at a at a dollar 34. That's when I released it to the channel. I said, hey, this thing looks good. We've got a little move. We came back down and we got to break this big resistance line. We break this line, guys. It's going to move. It's going to be fun. We're going to make a bunch of money. Uh, we had a big 17.8% update today. Uh, probably had some news. Uh, it looks like they released earnings March 1st. I'm just holding on, guys. I'm not doing anything. Uh, you're going you're gonna to hear that theme over and over. Bullish engulfing. That's the day I bought. There we go, going on up. Padev go up 5.3%. They've got earnings March 2nd. Uh, Oasis. Bullish engulfing. Probably going to head higher. We're a little bit outside of the support line, but you know what? It's still acting as support. CRK, I bought inside this box, just like I said. Not a bad spot to be buying. Here we go, moving on up, 5.18%. You should be in it, locked and loaded, ready to go. SD, up a little bit. Uh, it's a down day. It's a black candlestick day. I think we're going to cycle back and forth. All these are highly dependent on where oil goes, obviously. Ring Energy, REI, up 1.7%. Uh, this one broke its downtrend little pattern here. This, this line here, and we've been cycling on up uh, slowly. Surge Energy been moving sideways. The Cheetah's resting. And same with Tamarack Valley Energy. I do think we're probably going to come back and do a retest move. What do I do on the retest moves? I buy the retest. Uh, it's that simple, guys. If we come back and do a retest, I buy it down here at three bucks and then ride it higher. Um, if this is a legit line, because it looks like I kind of just approximate. Let me do log. Oh, we got log. We got log here. Yeah, around three bucks or so. If it comes back to three bucks, you know, maybe that's a good spot to, to look at picking some up in Tamarack Valley Energy. T N E Y F. Uh, OIH. Let's get back to the, the dailies. We're leaking out to the downside here. Bearish engulfing there. We got some buying pressure today. That's what the wick is on the bottom. We, we opened up, came down, and then came back up. So it opened at the top one, closed here, and had the wick. I wouldn't be doing anything. Bullish hammer pattern, uh, kind of a big update in TTI. It looks like we're kind of breaking this little pattern here. Uh, we got to close above it again. Uh, for it to be legit. Uh, Transocean just been moving sideways. I still like it. Uh, pump got got smoked yesterday, but was pumped up today. I would just be holding on. This has got a this is a massive pattern break. It's probably going to move higher over time. So, you know, it, it, <laughs> the volatility is quite quite crazy on all these companies. Uh, mo gyrating, moving all around, and if you can get a good buy point, just buy it and hang on. Extn. Exterian Corporation, a little bit of a down day today. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, Valeris getting a little bit of a sell off. We're right at support. Maybe a good time to fire off one at the support uh, if you like it. MRM getting, I think we're gonna probably gonna do a little bit of a retest move and I buy the retest. So 43 cents for MRM or MMA Offshore Limited. That's where I would be looking. TDW, we've been cycling back and forth. We're probably gonna cycle a little bit longer before moving back higher. NEX, this thing just continues to rip it. We're up 3.96%. Uh, 
Um, if we hold above this 480 level, we're still in a higher low. Everything looks good. Uh, CHX, again, we're right at support down here. I can see it without the line even popping up. Uh, this would be another one to be looking at if you like CHX. WHD, we're right at this resistance support line, and we're right there uh, holding right above it. OII, small little down day. Are we going to break lower on this on a rising wedge? We'll see. We're right at, we're at, right at uh, resistance as well on this long-term resistance line for OII. Noble Energy, I still think we're going higher. Uh, we're right there at that support line. HLX, Helix Energy Solutions, sideways day-to-day -day for the most part in this channel. And then CGGYY just coming down a little bit. We've broken out. Some, a lot of these do a kind of a A, B, and then a C correction. We'll probably end up at 82 cents, 83 cents, somewhere down in this 80-something, 90, maybe even 70-something cent range. Uh, and that would be a, a buying opportunity in my opinion. So, guys, I mean, the volatility here has been crazy. <laughs> it's been crazy in, in all this stuff. Uh, I do think that uh, I'm not going to do anything. If I were to be a buyer in any of these, I would choose uh, Crew Energy. I like Crew Energy. They've got a big land package up there. I think they're undervalued. Uh, I think they have strong growth ahead of them. I like the company quite a bit. It's one of my larger larger holdings. So I'm holding Tellurian, GTE. Um, those I also have holdings in. They're looking good. Uh, they've done quite quite well. Ones I purchased recently was Pedevco, PED. I bought that like about a buck. Uh, that one's that one's a good one that I like. Um, and then obviously my my biggest holdings are SM Energy, CDEV, uh, Crew Energy, Athabasca Oil. They're I like all these companies, guys. They're, they're very good companies. They're going to do quite well. Hopefully, I've got the ones that are leveraged to this move uh, the most. And you know, it's taken me a while to figure all this stuff out. I, I, I obviously no one's going to get it perfect. Uh, so don't 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 hold me to the fire if if something goes wrong with one of the companies. That's why we diversify out. Make sure you're doing your due diligence. Make sure you look at their uh, corporate presentations. Uh, you just have to search on the internet. If it's Crew Energy, you search Crew Energy. Look at their investor presentations on their website. Scroll through it. Um, it it looks pretty compelling to me uh, that they've got their debt under control. They're growing rapidly. They've got lots of drill, uh, successful drills. Uh, drill holes and stuff. It, it It's looking quite good. Uh, if you guys like the content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, and thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.